a few weeks ago while I was live on Twitch, I mentioned about computer monitoring at work and a lot of people in chat were actually super surprised to learn about this. So I wanna talk a little bit more because I think more people should know about this. To start getting started, they're like, can you sign on to your personal email on your work computer? And I literally looked at the IT person in the eyes and I said, no. And he's like, well, you need to sign in Octa. I'm like, we'll make it work. Don't worry about me. And I did make it work, but I looked the IT dude in the eyes during the IT onboarding. I was like, I know how much you can see of my computer. I am not giving you access to my Gmail account. Fun fact, if you work at a company, um, there is a 100% chance they see every single thing on your computer. Say you're watching a listen videos on your work computer i promise you your it department can see what you're doing on your computer if you are working from home on your work computer and um you're like watching youtube like watching things you shouldn't be watching um it can see that you're doing that if you have any like logical it department they are definitely monitoring everything because that's part of the security response they need to know like what's on your computer and if you're w visiting any like bad actor websites like that's why when they were like just sign into your personal email on work i was like are you kidding me like, I'm not giving you access to my personal, like not access, but like always separate your work computer from your pleasure, from your pleasure computer, from your personal computer. Yes, there is a 2% chance to look, but depending on what websites you go on, they can get alerted that you're on that website. Like I know someone who used to work in IT had to email someone to stop going on a specific website because they kept getting alerts from the website because you need to stop looking at certain XYZ website because this XYZ website um, y it's not safe. Please don't do this on a work computer. Yeah, pleasure computer. No true rewards can be said. They they can and will be tracking what you're doing on their devices. A hundred percent, they can and will be. And again, if you're working on things that you probably shouldn't be working on at work, they know. So, for example, say you are working on a startup, and that startup, you're using your work computer, and you have like a non-compete they literally can be like, well, you used our, our company product, so it's our product. Just remember, your IT department is also human and like, they're chill too. They're not gonna be stupid, but as soon as you start doing stupid things that put your computer at risk, that's when they're gonna start being like, hey, maybe don't. Back when I worked in DevRel, I never would sign into my personal Twitter account on my work computer because I never wanted them to ever be able to say, well, you sent tw tweets off your work computer, therefore we own your Twitter or like we own those property of those tweets. I could always like, if they were able to go back and reference and go through all my things, I it would literally show that I was never sending tweets from my computer. I may have signed in at one point, but I never did anything. I always would have two computers my personal computer that I would have open so I can go on Twitter, I can do stupid shit or my iPad. And then I would have my work computer open. Now, just as a warning, I am not a security professional. Security is my hobby. It's something I do for fun. I'm active in the community, but I in no way am giving you security advice. So please just take this with a grain of salt. These products basically are tools that allow IT departments to basically see your network traffic, your operating system traffic, and monitor what you're doing as a way to basically stop you from being stupid on your computer and downloading viruses, doing things that could damage the company, um, and they basically set up alerts. Now, your IT departments are not constantly monitoring what's on your computer because if you're a company that has over a thousand employees they just do not have the time to sit and re read and watch what's happening on every single computer but they have rules in place to basically alert them when bad things are happening essentially almost AI in a way you could say that's like, hey, this person went on this website that sent back this cookie or this person went and downloaded this program signed by this person. And we know that person is a bad actor. So we should probably alert them that they did something wrong. Not every single company has these running on their computer. I will put a really big asterisk on what I said in that Twitch highlight, but many major companies do utilize these tools as part of their security 
response and their security protocol because they need some way to keep their information safe because with the rise in cybersecurity attacks security attacks they need to have all the bases covered regardless of what kind of employee you are at the company you're still a vector or a potential place for an attack that could happen if you're watching this on your work computer you're probably wondering am i someone who might be getting monitored at this moment maybe i don't know but if you open up your program manager, your activity monitor, we might be able to see. So some of the programs and the names that you might be looking for include Zscaler, CrowdStrike Falcon, or OS Query. These are all tools that kind of do the same thing, that record and log your network traffic, your computer traffic, some sort of traffic that's happening. I touched on this in the Twitch streams, but I really want to reemphasize this, that you really need to make sure that you have a separation of personal and work computer, because if you are a startup, founder and you're working on your work computer they can say you used our work computer so that's our product there are companies who have done that and will continue to do that if you don't want them to see what's happening in your personal life probably don't sign into your google account my number one recommendation is don't sign into any of your personal content personal things on your work computer don't sign into your personal email any accounts that you might have don't work on any side projects on your computer just really your work computer is your work computer and that's literally it in regards to phones i have never been supplied a company phone so if someone wants to chime in in the comments below and maybe talk about their experience with a company phone and potentially having these trackers I would love to hear now why is this important if you have a company provided laptop you probably have some flavor of remote homework you've worked from home you've worked remotely if there was also a rise in using like mouse shakers to say like I'm online I'm active things like that because your manager is watching if your manager was snoopy enough and your company does have these activity monitors these trackers these packet sniffers essentially they could ask IT to be like hey was this person working from this time to this time I don't know if IT is allowed to respond but companies do have the ability to kind of prove you wrong in those cases because they can say yeah your mouse is moving but no your internet wasn't moving, you weren't typing anything, you weren't looking anything up, you weren't participating, your mouse was moving. Keep your wits. So that's just what I wanted to talk about. Yeah, if you like these kinds of videos, let me know. Hit the subscribe button and uh, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm at Ending with Ali on everything, including Minecraft. Yeah, good luck, have fun, and don't die. Bye. That's about it. See ya.